Happening. Awesome. And Keith is staying with us, folks. Our guest is social activist Gregory. And, and Greg, start out. Tell us about the uh, the, the, the interpreter. I guess the deaf interpreter uh, at at the uh, Mandela ceremony, going away ceremony. And you saying how close he was to all those world leaders? No, 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 no. They say all the world leaders. The only world leader's family he was close to, he was right next to President Obama and his family. Okay? Now let's back up for a minute. Britain had secret service before there was America. Okay? You got countries that was there, the Italians, and all the big countries. They've been there. When I come to your house, I'm not at the whims of you, your security protecting me. Huh? I mean, you see that for little chump stuff. You see entertainers, top celebrities go to a job, nightclub, and the nightclub got bouncers and, 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 and cops. They bring their own people in, okay? Who going to leave this type of human being at the whims of the secret forces? The problem is that you mean they didn't know nothing about it? You get a list of everybody's going to be there. Here's a guy that was standing there with credentials on. So he wasn't like some thug that just skipped in. He had credentials on. Now, one of the things that most, my grandmother wouldn't know this, that if, if, if I'm in charge of your security call, the one thing we know, we got to know everybody's there. We got to know who's singing who's coming in with the singers, what kind of vehicles, what equipment's coming in. We got to check that equipment to make sure ain't no bombs or nothing in it, okay? It costs big money to have something like that, okay? How long they been in charge of that gum? Eight years. So where the security come from? Them same white boys that was there when they were hating them, okay? They got two black probably up that's, that's, that, that's in the front to front. How are you going to train security that fast to have them? They say never in the history of the planet have it been that many world leaders and powerful folks to show up at one event, okay? And so when you stop and you think about that everybody's security is there looking out after them. See, I don't get paid if I'm with the, with the British secret service. I don't get paid for South Africa. I don't get paid from, from Italy. I get paid from England, and that's my job. And so when you start to think about and the fact you haven't heard the New York Times, the Washington Post, everybody writing it off like it was a comedy act, huh? like it was a comedy act. But I bet Obama got the message. I bet he got the message at his house. When that thug and his wife slipped in, Man, you can slip in heaven even you can the White House. Plus, call if me and you went to the post office and I jumped over the counter, that's a felony, man. That's a post office. It, 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 that's federal property. If I jump over and go behind that counter, here's a guy that was not invited, slipped into the White House at a state dinner, the, the head of... Of, of, of the Indian government was there, huh? And so nobody recognized him. Nobody anything. How many of them thugs that was on duty got fired? And then Obama said, oh, they made a mistake, huh? Okay? And so all and of them... Let me interrupt you for a second, Greg, because it seems like it, this has happened more in this administration than in previous administrations. We never heard it, you know, in Nixon, well, Bush's, Ford. Just wait. Somebody wanted to kill Kennedy. The, when you talk about white supremacy, you're not talking about white racism. You're talking about something my grandmother know about. You're talking about all of them. Huh? It's never happened before. Okay? All of them. Let, 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 <laughs> let me tell you something. When Halle Selassie and those of y'all that kind of hear Get the film at Kennedy's funeral. The world leaders come in from all over. And I looked at Trump and I said, well, he just signed his death note. Hell is the What do you mean? Nobody but a hand.
handful of people understand the line of Judah, that he is the number one protocol on planet Earth. Okay? But so what does that mean? It don't mean nothing to you come to an affair like President Kennedy's funeral, Queen Elizabeth. I, I looked at kings and queens I never heard of from Belgium, from here. Do you know all of them had to line up behind this black man? Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Did not. He is the number one protocol. He's the number one track of blood on the planet. The only person who wouldn't have to line up behind him would have been the universal guy. I ain't talking about the Pope. The all of them was lined up behind him. That's who he is. And I knew then. They'll make sure this will never happen again. Never, ever happen again. And not too long after that, they jailed him. These people, they didn't think it was his, his folks, you know. And the next thing you know, he was dead. And so, again, I'm saying, when you look, we don't, we don't have to look hard. Here's a guy. If you're doing sign language for... This affair. Every secret service, everybody in charge, of everybody's security, they not only have to have a person who understands sign language, but the certain dialects. One part of Africa, they speak with one dialect, another one they speak, even if they speak in English or Swahili, and their hands move different. They have to know that. Huh? Because you up there and look like everybody else to the world, he's just a little black dude to the time. He could be saying, move it over a little bit to the right, okay? And when he, uh, when he come up, wait for a few minutes, it'd be the right time. So you mean all the major folks that was there didn't understand he wasn't saying nothing and get disturbed about it? Huh? Two... When you're doing sign language, you have all seen them, how fast they move and how fast they move. You have to change them every 30 minutes. That's how much it works on the muscles and on the brain and all of that. And so consequently, he was never changed. He was there the whole time. The whole time. And then they say they tried to find out now who he was working for, and the, country looked, the company looked like it just disappeared. Back on the New York Times. Huh? All the good stuff that we get. All of us out here running time talk, on these conspiracies. Huh? Is, is, is the, the, the London Guardian. I've been all day, all day down the farm page trying to get hold of the paper. How come they don't know nothing about it? Huh? How come you haven't heard nobody, nobody talk about something ain't right about this picture? Something not right about this picture. Or are you aware that Bishop Tutu was not invited to the funeral? Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, wait a minute. I, I, I don't even get into that. He's not invited, but this guy is. He can't get in. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy can get in. <laughs> and so, and so the, the, the normal stuff. You know, three days later, they'll find him dead. <laughs> and say he was so embarrassed, he committed suicide. Okay. I mean... But, but not only that, they said he was schizophrenic and all of that. So wait, listen. They're saying that. I don't know what he is. That's how they justify who's saying it. The white folks are saying it. It came out the black press in Johannesburg. The same white newspapers that ran South Africa before Nelson Bella, they still run it now. Huh? You know, and I know some of y'all listen to me know South Africa had a nuclear bomb. Ever since man down the walk out there, you heard nothing about that nuclear bomb. Don't nobody ask about it. Black folks don't ask about it. White folks don't ask about it. Yeah, hold, hold, hold that thought right there, Greg, because we're going to take another break. Okay. Folks, you two can join the conversation. You have a question for Dick Gregory. It's 800-450-7876. Take your calls in about two and a half minutes. And thank you for staying with us, folks. And, of course, you can reach us on Facebook and Twitter at carlnelsonshow.com, or you can reach us the conventional method over the telephone at 800-450-7876. Speak to social activist Dick Gregory. And, Greg, I'm going to let you finish up uh, what you were saying 
by what happened in, in South Africa. And so when you when you stop and think about what went on in South Africa, the fact that everybody's quiet about it. NBC, CBS, ABC, nobody in the Senate or Congress is asking for an investigation. Why is this so quiet? Why is it just most people I see, they just kind of laughing like they're stuck of food. Everybody knows. Last week, nobody ever heard of him. Now, this week, everybody knows he's getting freedom. Who told you? Who told you he has a mental problem? Huh? Where'd that come from? Where did it come from? All at once now, he has a mental problem. He thinks he's two people. Huh? And yet, with all of that, he can get right next to the president and his family? Oh, no. That was a message being sent. The thugs that broke into the White House during the state dinner, that was a message being sent. Huh? And I guess every now and then he gets too comfortable and has to keep sending messages. Hmm? Somewhere. And like you said, you know, they, they'll, they'll kill a trifle, but we had never seen this type of trifle. Every other day, right? I don't know, I think I called you and told you they shot two F-16s down on the president's birthday on the way to bomb the White House. And then when you pick up the paper in, in the, in the, uh, the uh, Baltimore Sun, they said uh, two National Guard planes collided. They didn't say military. Two National Guard planes collided. And one was rescued and the other land safe. That's, that's what they do. They control all of the press. And then when it's a big conspiracy, they hook up with the white folks and, and all of that. And then sit down and we guilty of the same thing. I hear people on this show talking about what we need to do. We need to go to Africa and build it. And man, if y'all crazy enough to think Africa runs Africa, y'all out your mind. Every white nation that ran them countries then, they run them now. They do it with the CIA. They do it with the British intelligence. Ask yourself a question. Why is it the countries over there don't have no natural resources? They got no problems. Why is it every time you see them vicious wars, black folks fighting back, you see them marching, brand new guns, brand new boots, why they make them boots over there? This is a game they play. And you get tricked over there, and you end up dead, you end up framed. This is nothing. Let me tell you something. Else. And y'all need to, y'all, somebody need to look this up because it's too wild to take some nice word for About six months ago, no, maybe nine months ago, they wanted to name a street after Nelson Mandela in Cape Town. Hmm? Cape Town. Cape Town. Hmm? The white folks voted it down. Hmm? Now, we sitting last week looking at this great statesman, world-renowned, but in his own town, his own country, there was no street. They didn't talk about name the city. The street after him, and they voted it down. They said, well, I listen to these shows, and hear these people come on like black folks run something. Huh? Every black person in my mind, we need to get it. Have you forgot about New Wall Street huh? in Oklahoma? Have you forgot about it? These black folks came together with Jews, came together with Chinese, came together with blacks and and, and, and Indians, and this one black man that organized the business venture. He was making $100,000 a week. This was back in 1920 something, huh? And then the redneck came in and said, hey, hey, we need to have a meeting because we want to be part of this. And he said, no, y'all can't be part of this. And that Monday, the little crop dusters, crop dusters came in with them insinuated bumps. And and, and and from that area that they was in, off the planet. And it's probably changed now when I go down there to try to research and go to the library and look at the paper for that day. The paper got a hold of it.